the country was uh, shocked to discover that we had one trillion ringgit of debts. The Prime Minister has said that uh, he hopes to reduce uh, the debts by around 200 mil billion ringgit. And I gave the breakdown on instructions of the Prime Minister. Many have felt that perhaps I should not be so truthful. But, well, I, perhaps uh, uh, <laughs> to be truthful, I think, is better, more important than to be tactful. I mean, for these projects, as the Prime Minister has announced, uh, they will be cancelled, of course, uh, subject to further discussions with Singapore. When, we, when I mentioned about uh, revisiting these projects when the financial situation improves, that is sometime in the future. Uh, we have been helped by the rise in oil prices, that's one. Number two, we also see increased contributions from our government agencies. And thirdly, we have no choice but to cut down on some of our expenditures. And the cancellation of some of these projects would help to reduce these expenditures. That even if the oil prices have not gone up, we will still have gone ahead. Because this is a fundamental aspect of Pakatan's victory in the last general elections. Not abolishing the GST is not up for discussion. There's too much money under the table, so to say. I think it's time that Malaysia shows the region that we can be clean and we can be successful.